Hi, this is Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's Dad, and uh, once again, I want to thank you for coming here to watch this marketing segment, or this segment about marketing, I guess, about some thoughts that I have about marketing in general. In this particular segment, I'm going to make us think a little bit hard today, so I've got to put on my uh, thinking cap here, is what I'm going to put on, you know, my thinking cap. And I'm uh, going to ask you some very, very hard questions that are going to force you to think think uh, deeply about yourself, okay? Here's question number one. Do you prefer over or under? Okay, do you want your toilet paper to come over the top or do you want it to come underneath the bottom? Second question. When you squeeze your tube of toothpaste, do you like to squeeze it from the end and then roll it up? Or do you just squeeze it wherever you want to? Uh, now, these are examples of what is known as the science of heuristics. Now, heuristics uh, is talking about the, the fact that we have attitudes and opinions and perspectives that are based on uh, some historical uh, uh, um, experiences that we've had in the, in the past. Now, um, so for example, you know, I mean, we talk about these are two very, very simple, innocuous examples of the toilet paper roll and the toothpaste. But uh, you know, in reality, those have caused some pretty big arguments with people uh, over the years, and especially between significant others. And and it's interesting because you know, you know, there are very, very few people who are actually right in the middle of that, that in that gray area where they they say, you know what, I don't care if it's over or under, I don't care what I do with the tube of toothpaste. Now, most people have fairly uh, um, strong opinions about which way they prefer that, and. And when we have a strong opinion about something, well, that is known as a heuristic bias. Now, the way this is defined by the science of heuristics is, and I want to go through this carefully here, okay, it's that individuals assess probabilities based on their familiarity with a certain task, a certain idea, or a certain environment, and that humans attempt to frame a decision based on prior situations confronted and successfully negotiated, or as I said earlier, you know, the, the you know, prior experiences. And individuals start at one place in a decision matrix and then adjust from that initial point as they want to. That's a big fancy definition of heuristics. A much simpler way of looking at it is this. We don't see things as they are we see things as we are, okay? Now, why is this important from a marketing perspective? Well, let's look at it this way. We subconsciously wear two hats. See, uh, let's say, for example, my thinking cap today is I am wearing the hat of a marketer. And let's use this example of uh, what marketers do sometimes. Okay, I've got my marketing hat on, I come to the office, I sit down, I've got a meeting with, with my boss or with my team or, you know, if I'm a solo entrepreneur, by myself. And I say, hey, I want to do a marketing campaign. I'm going to do a direct mail campaign, a mailing blast out. And so I'm going to get a list of, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get a list of 5,000 names. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, probably the best way for me to do it to, that's going to be most efficient uh, for me would be to get them as labels, or I can print them out on my computer as labels, uh, mailing labels. All right. And then let's see, what else can I do? Okay. I'm going to do, it's going to be a mailing. So uh, I'm going to do a self-mailer. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. I'll have something printed up on that, but I'll be able to fold it in half, and then I can staple it and put the label on, and it'll go out by bulk mail. Okay, I can put it in bulk mail into season there, and because that's going to save me money too. All right, so we do that project. We do that campaign, and we get that sent out. All right, and then we pat ourselves on the back. We say, "Wow, that was really, really good of us because I got a, I I did a mailing out to five thousand people. Uh, I uh, did it very, very efficiently. I did it, and I did it cost effectively. Uh, and you know, aren't I a smart marketer? Well, then we leave our office, or we, or or let's just say that we take our marketing hat off, and we put our customer hat on now we get the mail all right the mail comes to uh, comes comes into our office we we take our pile of mail 
and we go stand by the trash can and we start flipping through the mail and let's see wait whoa we come to this this thing that is a self mailer that has you know was an eight and a half by eleven uh, printed piece of paper that's been folded in half and stapled and it's got a label with our name on on the label and in the corners of bulk mail and disease and we take a look at that and we say junk mail trash right in the trash pile see because now we've got the customer hat on and the customers are thinking in terms of okay what's in it for me what are you doing to help me well if this is obviously some big mailing blast that you're sending out to everybody well I'm not very important to you okay we, we live in a world of customization we live in a world of personalization we live in a world where people want to be treated like people they don't want to be treated like cattle and the idea of bulk mailing campaigns anymore or bulk marketing to people is really not the way to go no what we want to do is every time we are thinking about doing some type of communication with our target market we need to make sure we're wearing the hat of our customer that's why I call it two hat marketing if you've ever read my blog if uh, it's it's two hat marketing dot com and you can go there and read a whole bunch of my posts that I've put up over the last couple couple three years and the, that's why I call it that is because it's so important for us to take our marketers hat off and wear the hat of our customer whenever we're trying to communicate with them because it is so much more important to uh, um, well don't know where that came from but uh, we'll get rid of that it is so much more important to ask the question why do people buy okay because not how do I sell it's a thousand more a thousand times more important to ask the question why do people buy rather than how do I sell because when we think in terms of how do I sell we're wearing the marketers hat so make sure that you put yourself in the shoes of the customer think about two hat marketing the next time you're putting together any type of a campaign an internet campaign direct mail campaign postcard campaign going to a trade show or whatever put yourself in the shoes of the customer thanks again this is Steve Miller I appreciate you coming and and watching this segment with me and look forward to seeing you again in my next segment